Hey, what's up? My name is Dylan and I do computer graphics. And we're gonna make these fish in the Adobe Illustrator app. So to start off, I'm gonna show you how to change the color theme. Go to the gear icon at the top, go to general, and change the color theme there for dark. So this is how you start, the lightest, then you go to dark, that's it. Um, want to add a image, click this icon, add image from photos and uh, select your photos. Go to layers and change the name, easy peasy, and just lock the layer and close it down. Um, I'm going to show you how to build shapes in the new Adobe Illustrator app on the iPad. Uh, there are different ways and uh, first we're going to start with the pen tool. It works just like on the desktop version and um, but this time you can use the pen on your iPad and it feels great. Let's change the border color so we can actually see what we're doing on top of the black. And whenever you tap you can drag out that join to get the handles out. Um, uh, as you can see, I just go by the main joints, and now I can adjust these handles on each joint. Just let me change the border thickness so we can actually see what's happening. Like so, you can just select the handle and drag it in or out to get the curve you want. Um, with the modifier, the primary, I believe, you can uh, single adjust these handles or as one, so both sides will adjust. I'm just going to speed up the process here. I'm just using the pen tool here and uh, I'm going to finish up this fish. All right, fish number two. Um, not gonna use the pen tool for this. I'm just gonna use shapes, and uh, because it's a fish, we have somewhat a like a round circular head. Just trying to get the right size here. And what we want is to stretch it out. But first, I'm gonna look for the right shape, like so. And now, if we double tap into our circular or oval, you can just select the left joint and put it in position. And if you pick the third icon in the submenu, you will delete the handles and you get a sharp corner. For the other shapes, I'm just going to use triangles. And uh, it's the same process. Just rotate them in place and scale them up and down to your satisfied. I'm just gonna speed up the process again. I've got a little time to talk about this app. I really, I really enjoy the app already. The one big feature I miss is the canvas rotating tool. And I've read that they are definitely gonna look into that and I really hope they will add that one soon, very soon. Uh, another feature that I really miss is the eyedropper tool. Like on desktop, you can just press I and uh, you got your eyedropper tool and you can just get the colors you want and uh, and paste that on the object you want. Um, right now, it's just a really clunky process going into your colors. Um, press the eyedropper icon and um, just drag your eyedrop pointer, I guess that's how you call it, um, to the color you want. 
I don't know, it just feels really clunky. And maybe I should just use the, um, the swatches and the libraries more often and maybe build my shapes even better to color all my shapes more easily. But for now, it's just, I, I miss that tool. And uh, I hope it's gonna be a gesture in this app as well in the future. So the way I colored this project is just by um, uh, grouping the lines and create new colored layers behind the lines. Um, it's not really the efficient way that I'm looking for, but it works. Uh, for this fish project, I uh, tapped into the repeat tool to create the, a pattern. And I have to say, I really love it. Uh, I'm not very experienced in making patterns, so this is like the perfect tool for me. It's easy to adjust, it's easy to understand. Um, you can reposition everything, you can rotate it. Um, yeah, this is something I really want to use more often. So yeah, that was it for my first Adobe Illustrator on the iPad video. Um, not really a tutorial, just went over my process and uh, my first impressions. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I'm definitely gonna make more videos of the Adobe app. Let me know what you think of this video and uh, what do you think of the new Adobe app. Uh, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel and uh, thank you for watching. Till next time.